Jesus. That your history started in the slave trade. But they don't even tell you how the slave trade started. They blame you for enslaving yourself. They say your ancestors sold you up. Nice statement. So I asked the guy, what country, what was the name of the king? Oh, don't worry about that, they sold you out. As if I don't know that the slave trade started with the Pope of the Roman Catholic Church by the name of Martin V. And Reverend Bartolomeo de las Casas on the island of Hispaniola now call Haiti and Saint Domingo. You see, you were made, you were, nobody told you it's time to get sorry. To feel bad when some Haitians were being slaughtered on the coast of Florida. That's what it is. If you send a people back to sea on the condition where they were, that's genocide. But you see, you didn't feel anything because you weren't taught to realize that the Haitians are your brothers and sisters because you don't know that the first Africans to be brought in slavery was not taken from Africa but from Spain and carried to Haiti then called Hispaniola in 1506 under the aegis of the Pope of the Roman Church and Bartolomeo de las Casas but how did you get in Spain? That was 1506. But you went into Spain, which was then called Iberia, Spain and, and, and Portugal and Southern France, as conquerors yourself in 711, under the leadership of Tariq, for whom the rock of Gibraltar is now named Gibraltar. Nothing in your education, because there's nothing in your textbook about any of this so you'll have to go to Spain luckily at the University of Barcelona where I attended for two years there are these documents and I had never known anything about them I hadn't known that the Africans called Moors had ruled Spain from 711 until 1485 the last of them losing power at a place called Granada. I was always wondering why is it that 90% of all the songs coming out of Spain were singing to La Morena, the black woman. I said, how come in this country, 90% of all the songs, the records, the tapes, everything is La Morena this and La Morena that. It is when I went there, I found out La Morena raised hell in Spain. <laughs> Even the paper you write on shows your heritage and your history. It was in Egypt, Ethiopia and Sudan that the first papyrus paper was created, not rice paper in China. Just as it was in Egypt that engineering, Sesostris II, you are engineers, many of you, Sesostris II changed the flow of the Nile. That S turn you see there was placed there by African engineers in 2250 BC. There was no Jesus yet, no Adam and Eve story yet, because that came out of the Sanhedrin in 700 BC just yesterday when the African engineers was changing the flow of the Nile hydrographic engineering there was no Adam no Eve yet no Jehovah because Abraham the first Jew that brought out the concept of a Jehovah wasn't even born the Africans had already worshipped Pita, P-T-A-H Amen Ra, you still say Amen at the end of each prayer and they told you it means so be it, that's a lie. Amen was the God of the North. When Scorpio the Pharaoh headed 
the north and Egypt was divided into two groups. It had gone into a, a civil war. Mena, Onama, was the king of the south, and his god was Ra. The conquest of Mena over Scorpion allowed Mena to join God Ammon with God Ra and call Ammon Ra. Thousands of years before there was a Jehovah, Jesus, O Allah. Muhammad ibn Abdullah wasn't born until 570 of the Christian era. Pantheus and Botius that started Christianity wasn't born until 50 AD. They, according to the story. And Abraham, who started the concept of a God named Jehovah and Adam and his story, wasn't born until 1760 BC. The Africans of Egypt and Ethiopia and Nubia were already in their 13th dynastic period. No different than the lie they told us that the Jews built the pyramids. Which one? The little one in their bathtub? There are 72 pyramids throughout Egypt. The first one was designed, engineered and built by the multi-genius, first one known in the world, Imhotep. That was the third dynasty. The last one was the sixth dynasty. And the first Jew wasn't born until the 13th dynasty. You can't build a pyramid before you're born. If you kill one European Jew in Ushkush, because he is Jewish, the whole white Jewish community getting armed. But if you kill umpteen blacks, I am not supposed to say anything, otherwise I'm being racist. You see, they didn't tell you that they're black people who are Jews. So you say, blacks and Jews are going to have a conference. Couldn't be blacks, Jews too? Oh, you never heard of the Falashas, the Ethiopian Jews? I'm one. I know that I don't look Jewish, but they don't look Jewish to me either. They are called the Falashas, but you didn't hear anyone saying anything in America when the Italian fascists were exterminating the Falashas. Nobody said anything. And it was the forerunner to what Hitler was to come and do next. But there was no rallying cry about my people. We were five million when Hitler arrived, I mean uh, Mussolini arrived. With the help of the Pope, Martin uh, 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 Pius XI, uh, I think it was. When the Italians left, we were 50,000, but no cry. Isn't it strange that when you write and when you are taught, you hear only about a Holocaust, a one. What happened to your Holocaust that's still going on? What happened to the 50 million Africans, your brothers and sisters that were murdered in Munumatapa, now called South Africa, under Cecil John Rhodes? Do you know that black folks take scholarship in honor of John Rhodes, Cecil John Rhodes? Because you don't know. Nobody told you who Rhodes was. Rhodes make Hitler look like a playboy. You don't know about the Holocaust with Dr. John, with um, Frederick Lugard and Dr. Jemison in what is today called Nigeria with Goldie and others when they took over the colony. You don't know about the Holocaust with Leopold II, the Vanderbilts and the Pews and the, and the others, the Rockefellers and so forth, when they took over what was called Mani Congo in those days and changed it to the Congo Free State. How many millions? 22 million? Were exterminated. African women pregnant were placed in the middle of roads and three limbs put to both arms and then cut with the horses and split them open and the babies fell out as punishment that the men would see it. These are records. They themselves wrote not realizing that Africans will come later to revenge these causes. But that isn't mentioned as Holocaust in any of your textbooks. 
because it was only Africans being exterminated. I don't expect enemies to say this, but I do expect that when you write and when you do your research that you use the appropriate term, genocide, holocaust, wherever it applies. In Tasmania, an island of Australia, every last African was murdered. There isn't one left. And you don't call it a holocaust. You don't cry about it. You don't get up any day complaining. Nobody comes to you and asks you, but you cry for everybody else's holocaust. Because you weren't taught that these people had anything at all to do with you. You forgot that the slave boat did not come from Africa to America. It came from Africa to the Caribbeans, from the Caribbeans to America. The first boat that brought Africans here were not from Africa, but from Barbados. The first that came to Virginia in 1619 in Jamestown. So you weren't told that there's any connection. As a matter of fact, the people from Alabama don't feel anything for the people of New Jersey. And the people of New Jersey don't feel anything for the people of Mississippi, etc., etc. We have not been taught that way.